Hey guys, Backyard Scientist here. I was browsing Reddit and I saw a video titled, What Could Go Wrong If I Play With a Gun on Instagram Live? Well, let's find out. Notice anything suspicious? Let's take a look at the comments and see if anybody else shares my suspicions. Huh, that's pretty weird. Normally Reddit comments are full of mature, intelligent discussions. Aha, here we go. Honestly, I think this is fake. The phone would have quit working immediately and we wouldn't be able to hear the full gunshot, much less see the recoil. I think that guy's onto something when we're talking about the gunshot noise and the recoil. In fact, if we play the video frame by frame, we can see that there is 11 frames between the time the shot is fired and the stream goes down. I think there's two outcomes that can happen if you shoot a phone. It just depends where you do shoot the phone. I mean, no one's gonna argue that if you shoot the motherboard of the phone right here, the phone's gonna die instantly, just like that, instantly. But what happens if you shoot a less critical part of the phone? So if you shoot one of those areas, the phone might still continue to function even though it's damaged. So it sounds like a binary outcome, but is it really? What happens if the battery gets shot? Will it instantly just explode into flames? Or will you shoot a hole in it and it has just enough juice left in it to encode and send off those last few videos before it fades away? For the first test, I'm going to remove the battery from a phone and wire it up so I can use it to power the phone externally. This way we can test the battery theory without destroying the whole phone so we can do more tests later. Okay, so here's our setup. We have the smartphone with the battery mounted next to it. We have a backstop that's just a cinder block. So what we're gonna do is shoot the battery of the smartphone, record it in high speed, and see how long it takes from the bullet to pierce the battery, see how long it takes for it to die after it's pierced. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough land to shoot a real gun on my property, but I have this instead. This is a 22 caliber air rifle and it is not your grandpa's BB gun. This type of air rifle is known as a pre-charged pneumatic air rifle. And basically what that means is it runs on this cylinder right here, which is pumped up to 3000 PSI. Now, I like a lot of things about this gun, but one annoying thing is in order to check the pressure of the gun, you have to point it at your face to check how much pressure you have left, kind of annoying. Besides that, it's a great gun. It has a built-in suppressor on the gun, which is really fun. It's totally backyard friendly. You still need to be careful with this in your backyard, but maybe some of you big kids should put this on your Christmas list, one of these rifles, because they're a lot of fun. Anyway, let's get down to business. Also, that battery is full, so maybe we'll get a nice fireball. Let's try it out. All right, three, two, one. I'm recording this at 2,000 frames per second and it only took two frames for the phone to turn off after it was struck by the bullet. That is instantly fast. It only took the phone one one thousandth of a second to turn off after the battery was struck. All right, I soldered on a new battery and this time I'm gonna try shooting it on the edge of the battery instead of the center of the battery so maybe it won't discharge as fast. Three, two, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, shoot, I gotta press the button. And yes, even glancing the very bottom corner of the battery, the phone still shut off pretty much immediately. Same thing, one or two frames, and it was gone. The battery fell off again. Okay, I soldered in a new battery, and instead of shooting the battery this time, we're gonna be shooting the screen of the phone because I made sure that behind this point in the screen, there is no other electronics. So, the screen might break, but I'm going to be playing a sound. So as long as we hear the sound, we know that the phone will still be working. Let's try it. All right, and if the phone doesn't turn off right away, I'm gonna shoot the battery. I'm gonna shoot the battery anyway, because I might as well. Huh, no fire and the noise turned off instantly anyway. Well, there might not have been any fire, but even though it looks like the screen turned off, for some reason the screen turned right back on and I didn't notice it because I was scoped in on the battery by then. And you can see that it still says Hertz right there on the screen. So the phone did live after this, even though for some reason it momentarily turned off. Now we're gonna try shooting a phone that's streaming to Instagram Live. I've got the phone set up down there and it's live streaming and I've asked people watching the stream to record it. So let's try it out and see if this works any better. All right, are you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. So I don't know if you just caught that, but basically what happened is the stream froze for the people watching my Instagram live feed a couple seconds before I actually shot the battery. And I'll tell you why that is in one second. 
Okay, that was pretty weird, right? My, it looked like my stream went down before I even shot my phone, but I did shoot my phone. So what's going on there? Well, it turns out Instagram Live has a very long latency period. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm starting my live stream video here, and then I'm going to join on my girlfriend's account who I guess only likes fitness pages. Okay, so we're gonna join here. My live stream video here, and then I'm going to join on so my girlfriend's So now I'm going to shoot my phone. Account, who Three, I guess only likes two, fitness pages. One, okay, so we're going to join here. End the stream. And my live stream video here, and then I'm going to join on so, my... So basically what happened is you never even got to see me shooting the phone on this phone because this phone is already destroyed and by the time this phone has encoding the video, uploading it, and then sending all the information over to this phone, Instagram sends over instantly saying, this stream is no longer active, and it cuts out the stream on this phone before this phone receives that information. Okay, we're gonna do this again, except this time we're gonna pretend that when I shoot my phone, it doesn't instantly die. We're gonna do this again, except this time we're gonna pretend Three, that when I shoot my phone, two, it doesn't instantly one, die. Boom. Oh my gosh, I just shot my phone. Everyone on Instagram's gonna, gonna see do this. Again, I better, this I better stop this live stream. Shoot my phone, it doesn't instantly one, die. Boom. So, that is exactly what was supposed to happen. You could see that as soon as I shot my phone, I, I didn't break it and it kept filming, and then eventually the phone died or got turned off for whatever reason, and then that appeared later on this phone to make it look like as soon as I shot the phone, the phone died. I think that's what's happening in the video in the beginning. She didn't actually destroy her phone with a gunshot, but at some point afterwards, very soon after, her phone died probably from ending the live stream or turning the phone off. All right, I know that last part was kind of confusing, but I don't blame you, it's a hard concept to explain. But basically, a phone can't record its own death because it will be dead. See, there's a delay in the time from when you're taking a video to when the video gets uploaded, and if a bullet cuts that off, well, you'll never see those final moments. So if a phone can capture its final moments, well, it's not dead. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and uh, don't play with guns. But basically, a phone can't... I assume its own death. Because it's dead.